नमस्ते आय एम डॉक्टर उर्मिला निश्चल कन्सल्टंट डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट अँड अस्थेटिक डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट ॲट निर्मल स्किन अँड हेअर क्लिनिक विजयनगर बँगलोर देर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ हेअर ऑन द फेशियल स्किन वन इज द फायनर अँड द लाईटर हेअर अँड इन सम केसेस दे कॅन बी थिकर हेअर सो थिक हेअर ॲज इन वी हॅव इट ऑन द आयब्रोज सो दॅट वुड बी सीन ऑन द साईड बर्न्स द चिन समटाईम्स इन दी अपर लिप सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉस अँड कॉज ऑफ डिफरंट ट्रीटमेंट मोडॅलिटीज सो इफ युअर हेअर इज थिक ॲज आय थोल लाईक हाऊ इट्स सीन इन मेन सो ऑन द अपर लिप चिन अँड द साईड लॉक्स दॅन यू हॅव टू विजिट युअर डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट get yourself tested there might be some hormonal changes hormonal imbalance which is giving rise to the thick hair on the sideburns chin and the upper lip if that is the case then laser hair reduction is the only safe and the best treatment for your thick hair laser works beautifully on the hair roots it helps in permanent reduction of the hair so the thicker hair follicles become thinner thinner and they are lost permanently so you are going to get fine hairs and significantly decrease number of hairs when you are going to do laser hair reduction you need around 6 to 8 sessions spaced apart one and half to two months depending upon the hair growth and the type of laser that is chosen but you need to get yourself evaluated rather than just keeping on shaving and threading the hair so what happens is when you are doing shaving or threading it is nothing but you are just removing the hair on the surface so that damages the skin it makes the skin rough the hair follicle which comes up is more sharp then it tends to find its way back into the skin and you get ingrown hairs you can get darkening of the skin here you can get pimples because of this so threading is not a great option for this kind of thick hair what about waxing waxing pulls the hair from the roots so when the hair is pulled there is a chance that the follicle remains open and after 7 to 8 days from waxing you might develop red bumps and sometimes pus filled lesions also so waxing also is a temporary phenomena so the root is taken off or another couple of months it's again going to grow back so you are never going to get rid of the hair permanently what's happening you are temporarily removing but you are exposing the hair follicles to external infections you can get folliculitis you can get ingrown hair the skin really becomes rough sensitive and uh, it it gets a greenish hue so just like how men with thick beard keep on repeatedly shaving and you see that the skin has a greenish hue so same thing can happen with thick hairs on the facial skin in women when we keep on just shaving waxing or threading so best in this cases is laser hair reduction so laser hair reduction has only pros cons are very low so sometimes if the ingrown hair is there and the laser is done on top of that then there might be a chance of superficial burn but usually laser doesn't give you any any problems laser gives you permanent hair reduction but if you have some underlying hormonal issue laser is not going to treat that hormonal issue so you have to get it treated by proper consultation and lifestyle modification so pcos is the most common cause of thick hair so you have to get into a good lifestyle regular exercise good diet will help to balance your cycle and prevent further thickening of the hair so laser hair reduction stands at number 1 now when you have fine hairs so fine hair on the face is very common so you can treat it with q switch ndiag laser so q switch ndiag laser treats the hair at the surface of the skin so they absorb uh, the melanin and it becomes decolorized so that the face remains hair free for like a couple of months 3 months 4 months and with regular sessions we have found that it's also reducing the thickness and the number of the hair Uh, another option is a uh, threading so threading is not a great option again for uh, your fine facial hair it can make them look blunt and thereby giving you illusion that the hair has become thicker and it's a repeated thing you have to keep on doing every month even waxing can give rise to folliculitis just as we discussed with the thick hair then another way of dealing the facial hair is micro uh, i mean blading so you can use skin blade so uh, to shave off the hair 
so the skin is stretched it is hydrated and then the hair is shaved off so it doesn't make the hair thicker though but you just have to watch for uh, folliculitis and um, uh, dryness of the skin and even that is a good option we call it as derma planing in medical technology but they are all temporary methods another method which you can use to hide the facial hair is uh, facial bleach so you get a lot of bleaching agents in the cream formulation so you can even try that provided your skin is not dry and you can always do a patch test first and then go ahead so bleaching of the facial hair would be much safer than waxing and threading if the hair is really fine even the upper lip hair if you keep on repeatedly waxing shaving and threading the you know it's going to become resistant thicker and it's going to come back again and again so laser hair reduction is the best method uh, method or technology to reduce the hair permanently from your face another modality used commonly is hair removal creams so hair removal creams on face very uh, irritating they can cause pigmentation so the hair removal cream usually have a ingredient called as thioglycolate so it dissolves the hair bonds make them thinner and the hair is pulled pulled off or it is melted off kind of you just remove and the hair comes off so it is as good as shaving it is just superficially removing it but the cream can cause irritation to the face and it can definitely cause pigmentation hyperpigmentation so i would definitely say no to facial uh, hair removal creams on the face